And it's Friday once again. Hallelujah. I'm going to show you probably one of the coolest applications I've come across so far being an Android reviewer. Like I said, I'm Android lifestyle. I find nothing but the best. But this one, this one right here, AirDroid is going to revolutionize how you work from your PC, Mac, whatever in the world you're using. I mean, uh, a Mac is still a PC because it's a personal computer for all you who boast your Mac. I'm sorry. Now, let's get into it. So we have AirDroid. Here is the channel. I'm sure you all recognize this if you're a follower. And basically, we're going to have this application here, AirDroid. I'll open it up and all you have to do is download the application. It's actually AirDroid 2. It's their second release and it's beautiful. You're going to see this when you open it up. There's actually a few tools packed into it, a device monitor. You can check all your memory and usage and applications. There's an app manager and file manager. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to get too carried away with that. So to open up AirDroid, what we're going to do is actually type in web and I've already got it saved here. So boom, web.airdroid.com. Now check this out all through your desktop browser. So Mozilla Firefox, or if you're using Google Chrome, or if you're doing Internet Explorer, all will work. You don't have to download any additional files. All you do is come in here. You'll give the email you registered with, sign in with your password. My phone's going off and boom. So we're loading in some information over here. Samsung Galaxy Nexus. I've used 11 and a half gigs of the 28 available. Already you can see some cool little features in here. It's going to notify us that we have a LAN connection down here. That means I'm connected through my Wi-Fi. Once signed into AirDroid, your phone will chime, give you a notification of what account you're signed in under. And then from there, you're going to set your phone down. You can put it on the charger. A cool feature is down in the corner, it'll give you a battery readout. So if you're charging, it'll let you know when the phone is completely charged. So with my phone on the charger and completely out of my hair, I'm going to be able to take control of many of the main features of my phone. That being, well, messages. So if I want to do texting, I can text out from my, look at it. Yo, man. I'm going to get a freaking text back here in a second, but just like that, I just sent a text message simply, and then from there, all your contacts that you're talking to will pop up here. Really, really great. The usability and interface is, it's keen. It's right on its own. So check this out. Even a call log, I can come in here, I can actually sort out incoming or outgoing calls, missed calls. So if I was like, gosh, I was supposed to call this guy back, I don't have his number, but he's in my missed call list. There we go. Find the number, write it down. A cool feature is over here, we can choose to text the number, we can actually call out. So you don't even have to touch your phone. If your phone's plugged into a stereo system, you hit call, boom, they're on the loudspeakers. Kind of cool. Or you can create a new contact. Like I said, all these features are here. You're going to be able to use your phone like it's in your palm, but it's not even there. Maybe you took some pictures the other day that you really, really want to see. From here, we can view all the photos. We have a list of all the albums on the phone. And then you can simply, look at this. My buddy just bought a new dog. Awesome. And then over here, I went to a pizza place. I'm in the back of the pizza place. Had to snap a picture for Instagram. Well, check this out. From there, I can hit download. It'll instantly download these files to my computer. With the quick click of the files folder, you're going to open up and be able to view all the files within your Android device. Now, this is great. It's just like a file manager where you go through and you can see all the folders that have been created or downloaded. Now, just like I went through with the photos, I could actually go to the DCIM folder and then from there I could download a whole entire photo folder. Instead of just going through photo by photo I could drag this out to my desktop but I'm not going to do that. I don't need 9 gigs of, of transferring going on right now. Also we can work our way down through here all of the files that have been created from the applications on your phone. Your Instagram photos, all of it. Maybe you want to go into your music. Now the great thing about this is there already is a music folder or actual icon over here that's going to give us a cool my phone just made a creepy weird noise, but I'm just going to keep going with it. Alright, so like I said, I got the music, look at all these MP3s I listened to. I've downloaded those wirelessly to my phone. I didn't connect it in, I just drag and drop. Now I'll show you how I do that. I just wanted to make it known that you do have a file manager. We're going to go into the music folder, and it's going to bring up nothing but my MP3s on the phone. It was kind of cool, as I actually just drag and dropped all of these files over, and I'm about to do it again. So check this out. I'll go to upload. Now if I wanted to, I could click the boxes, and I could download music onto my computer. That is, if I downloaded it on my phone and I wanted it on my PC, it'd be a simple transfer, but I'm actually going to upload from an external hard drive. So look at this. I hit upload. It's going to say drag and drop files here to upload. This is my folder. This is my buddy's computer I cleaned out. So Max's computer, I stored all of his music on my external hard drive, and nothing more than going in here, I'll be like, ooh, some Nicotina. Hell's Kitchen, why not? So I'll take this, I'll drag, dragging, dropping instantly. We are uploading to the actual device, and from there, it's as simple as one, two, three. Another cool feature is, down here, there's actually a ringtone section. I actually uploaded a couple songs that I like just for ringtones, and you can see it here. I uploaded just like with the music, and it went into my actual ringtones folder here with all my other wacky ringtones. Now I got this good song and it's already in use as you can see. You can even set from here. 
Like I said, you can control your phone from your PC and it's absolutely great. A couple cool features is a frequent contacts list. You click this, all the people you keep in contact with the most, right there. Quick for a call, text, whatever it be. You know, it's, it's good stuff. I'm telling you, real good stuff. You'll also get phone notifications when someone's calling you. Really nice. Check it out. What's happening, son? I'm actually in the middle of filming that. A nice feature is the fact that they have a readout in the tab. So if you're multitasking with several tabs, you won't miss that notification letting you know that your phone has just received a text message without ever touching your phone. I love it. And the ability to get notifications down in the corner when someone gets a hold of you, awesome. All right, so with the click of the camera icon over here, we can actually live stream what's coming from our camera. So here's my phone. I'm actually plugged into the charger. I didn't touch it. All I did was hit camera and now I've got live stream. I don't know what this would be good for using or what you could accomplish, but I know I can make this endless parallel universe of screens if I put it like this. You see that? Never ending screens. Well, taking a look at all the tools we have to use, you can actually screenshot with your phone if you are rooted. Very cool feature. Also, I like the fact that you can use a find phone feature. If you actually activate the settings in the actual AirDroid app itself, you can use the GPS locating and find your phone if anyone ever steals it simply by logging in with your email and password that you use to register. This application has it all, I'm telling you. Up top is a very useful toolbar. You can search applications on your phone. We can come over here, create a new message, uh, notifications, phone calls, whatever it be. And if you want to sign out, bam, simple as that. So over in the corner, we do have this readout about our phone. If we hit details, we'll have a pop-up come up. It'll actually scan through our phone and let us know how much of it is dedicated to music, which is only a small portion. My videos have taken up a good chunk of data there, or memory, and photos, not so much. There you go, though. You can see a good readout. I've got 540 messages, 289 apps, Android 4.2.2 is the version I'm running, and this is all with the click of a button. Can you believe it? Now, this tool over here is kind of cool. We can drag and drop files onto the phone. Now, if you don't want to open up the file manager and drag and drop to a specific location, this will save it on your SD card under AirDroid slash upload. So it'll be its own little folder, kind of like your music is. If you just want to boom, drag it in, there you go. All right, a quick recap. So the abilities of AirDroid, we can do messages, we can call out, we can get a hold of people, we have an app manager, uninstall, download apps, a file manager, camera, we can also go through and organize our photos, download, delete, you know, do a little spring cleaning on your phone, as well as music, we can download, delete, upload, Ringtones are the same. Now, I didn't get into the videos because that's just too much, but you can do the same for videos like you can photos, and it's great, I'm telling you. All of this is just 100% usability. Down below, you see all these tabs opened up. This is all the stuff I've had opened up, and it saves it just like you are working in a desktop mode. If I wanted to go to my music, as simple as that. If I want to go to my file manager, just like that, and if I want to close it out, boom, I can double tap and blow it up. Check it out. I'm telling you, this game, this changes the way you operate your phone when you're at home. I'm telling you, I plug it in and I'm just, boom, phone's gone, into the business. Well, I hope you enjoyed from PC to Android or from Android to PC. This episode was actually quite a difficult one to film. I hope it was very productive and it shows you what the application has to offer. It's really cool just to be able to walk in the house, put my phone on the charger, not worry about it, get on my computer, I open this up, any text, anything that's coming towards me, I will get, I won't miss, and you know, it's, like I said, I don't have to worry about my phone. It's kind of nice to disconnect for a second, but yet stay connected. Again, it's Android Lifestyle. Until the next episode, I'd love for you to like, comment, rate, thumbs up the video, get it out there. Let's share this application with everyone, because I'm sure a lot of people are still clueless that they could do all of this great stuff without even plugging in a USB cable. It's awesome. Save yourself the time, save yourself the goodness, subscribe, oh my goodness, where am I going? I don't know. I don't even, I need to start scripting these shows or something.